This is Hydrogen Tap. I've had so many email asking for at least some information about how much gas some of these units or cells are putting out. I decided to do another video showing the output. Remember, this is hydrogen and oxygen, two to one. What you're seeing here is just a test, and in just a moment, I'm going to uh, put a watch up there so we can have a more accurate reading of it. What I'm using is the two-plate bench system that you've seen. The uh, unit is 16 inches high. That's the tube. The plates are 12 by about 6. And there are space around an eighth inch apart. And here we go. I'm using distilled water with lye in it, running off a 12 volt battery supply. And I'm trying to keep it charged with two chargers, which is bringing it up close to a little over 12 sometimes. And as you can see, we will be, it's running around uh, 25 amps. I'm not going to do the math here. I'm going to leave this up to somebody else. If you're good at that, I know one particular person that will give me the information. Go to the comment file and post it. That hose is pretty thick. We're putting out a lot of gas. The last uh, day or two, what I've been trying to do is put together a cell. I'm having a terrible time. This is a cell I'm going to be using to test the hind on. Uh, I've, I've done a lot of different tests, as you could see in the last few days, having troubles with the size of the tube. I also had a lot of email about people who have been looking at the other sites where they show all kinds of information. You can see I'm putting out so much gas there that it's finally pushing or displacing the water. I have to stop. Also, there's a lot of gas there now. Remember, most of the information you see on the net is old rehashed information. I only say that because it's true. If you've been following my videos, you're seeing what's there. Don't kid yourself. It is what it is. I'm showing you. There you go. I, I turned it back on again so you could see the amperage that it's drawing, 25. Again, I don't have a digital meter that'll go that high. And I'll show you the voltage is 11.85. That's the voltage drop. It does, the battery is actually at 12. I've got it across the battery, but whenever you run anything, you get a voltage drop. You can see the amount of gas coming out. Don't waste your time looking over old data if you want to get this done, let's get it done. Do the do the dirty work like I'm doing. It seems like it's taking forever to get there, but we have to find out what's true and what's not true. And there's a lot of stuff out there that just keeps rehashing. You can see the tube there. Does that look familiar or what? When you see these people saying they're using pulse width modulation and you see how much gas it's putting out. Look at this. There's no pulse width modulation on this at all. Okay? Now if I could bring this down to 5 amps, now we're talking and let's hope that using a pulse width modulator will do that. But right now I'm using 25 amps and look how much hydrogen is coming out of here. 
Last year I had the Honda hooked up to a real lousy cell and it was drawing over 30 amps and the charging system could handle it just fine. There's distilled water here and I'm using lye in it. One of the problems I had last year with my Honda and the cell is that I kept getting the garbage in it and it just clogged everything up. The cell just heated up. I believe we found the problem that was the water, the tap water. I can't use it that way. You might be able to use tap water. You have to filter it. But if you filter it and you filter out the electrolytes, so to speak, then we're back to where we start from. So I don't think that's the answer. I think the answer is to just get distilled water. Who knows? Maybe they'll charge us $500 a gallon of distilled water. But that's what we need is clean water. There are some people who sent me emails about this gentleman who was using salt water. Uh, I mean, that's fine. That's another electrolyte. That's no magical system, okay? Salt water will work, but it's going to destroy your cell. Cut the garbage. Let's get down to the dirty work, and that's trying to get these things working. And that's what I'm trying to do. My voice is back. There's so much pollen in the air, it's driving my voice crazy. So it's back. Hey, I'm back. Here's a good shot of the beaker so you can see how it was labeled. I'm going to be working with this or the straight Aaron cell on the Honda. Had a devil of a time getting a seal on this unit because I cut it with a saw that just was lousy. I finally had to glue it. 